going to lay my mic out at Pont's funeral home on Mars. I always knew I'd be making a stop there. Just a whole lot later than a whole lot of people expected. Bleak's going to be a good rapper. New, improved Jay-Z. I quit. Sorry, big. Ain't enough money in this game for me. Bars closed. What we going to for breakfast? Hello. Ken Folk. Been watching you for a few years now. Is that right? The dribble is immaculate. Spectacular. It's too strong. It's too black. And it's too genius. So what I need you to do is go to my website and get you one of these black college joints that I remixed and shit. You know what I'm saying? Too black, too strong, too genius. And if you're a bori and if you're a boricua, I got one for you too. So go to the website and get right. Can you dig it? You said we ain't here from Washington D.C. Hey man. <sighs> What y'all think about the kidnapping? He said you've been on your bullshit the last few. What do you mean? I've been dribbling. I've been executing dribble. The hoodie is dope. Go to the website, get right. Either that was a setup or mistaken identity. They happen to say that they got caught in the middle of some beef between two rival drug cartels. He said, when cop and cheap bricks goes wrong, they told him that they was going down there for some cosmetic surgery, but I ain't never heard about nobody going to Mexico for buns. I thought they'd go to the Dominican Republic for that. I don't think nobody had trusted the Mexicans with their buns. That got to be a desperation. <laughs> that's got to be a... That's an operation that's bound to go bad. They was getting their teeth done and ran across the cartel. No. They got good dental. They do teeth there. No. They got good dentists in the U.S. They got good dentists in the U.S. Y'all be doing too much going abroad, man, doing all this slick shit. This is America. We're blessed with great medical technology here. He said, three dudes, one girl. He said it was a tummy tuck. Three dudes and one girl, tummy tuck. Huh? <laughs> in one of the most dangerous crime-ridden little towns in Mexico, huh? When are we going to see you with Fat Man Scoop? He's out of the country, I believe. I can call him. That's my man. One of them was her brother. I'm here now. Tay, what's up, my nigga? <laughs> First dude who brought Haitian hey, Jazz, they do teeth there. Hey man, let me let me ask you something. What's so unique about their teeth operations there? I got mine done. What's so what's so grand about their teeth operations there and shit? Tell me. I wore braces for a minute. Tell me, what's so grand in Mexico? Can y'all enlighten me, please? He said, pricing, cheaper, cheaper. Y'all know that's dangerous. That's, that's y'all problem. That's dangerous. It's always been dangerous. It's always been dangerous. Cheap anything is dangerous. You ain't gonna buy no cheap Percocet, is you? You ain't gonna buy no cheap Percocet, is you? You ain't going to do none of that, is you? Y'all already know what happened when it's cheap, man. It's going to be some shit involved. It's cheap because it ain't no motherfucking security there. <laughs> it's cheap because you, you got to be do dodging missiles and shit. My man said, ain't going to buy no cheap tequila. He said, she said, I'm going to Miami for mines. What's good? 
my man Dre. Dre said they took that income tax and tried to flip it. They were transporting for the competition and got clipped before the pickup. All money ain't good money. Niggas need to stop sneaking down into fucking Mexico, yo. That's been going on for a minute, and it's well known that, it's go that it goes on. Now I know, because I was living in San Diego for a period of time. And I told one of my partners that I was in San Diego. He said, nigga, do you know where you at? Do you know where you at? I said, what? He said, man, that's the last stop. He said, that's the last stop, man. That's the last stop, man, before you cross over. I said, get the fuck out of here. He said, yeah, man, that's like the last city and shit. So that's how I know that you can drive over there. My fucking and told me that they drove over there before. That uh, that 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 American gangster film with Frank Lucas, he said it's on the border to you want Tijuana. That American gangster film with Frank Lucas, it made you niggas bold, man. Y'all wants to go to other countries with your bullshit, man. The criminal ambition is taking y'all to other countries is dangerous. Senator Lindsey Graham to pitch bill to send U.S. military after the Mexican cartels. Most chicks go to DR of Miami for them, not Mexico. The FBI said no Americans should go there, go to that part of Mexico. It's been one of the worst places in the world for the last five years, maybe longer. See? So this is why it's cheap. This is why they got cheap shit going on down there. And y'all want to stick y'all fucking head in the motherfucking mouth with a crocodile. Niggas just got to try it, man. Niggas got to try it, man. Y'all need to stop going out to these other countries, man. They they don't have the same decency as us. Y'all see how they snatched their motherfucking ass up? He said cartels run the country. Hey, yo, did you see how they snatched their ass up? Motherfuckers watching that on camera, helpless than a motherfucker. U.S. ain't going to do nothing about that. He said with North Carolina plates, man, them niggas went down there trying to get right. <laughs> See what Meech and them started? This is, all, <laughs> this is all Meech and them. This is all Meech and them niggas' fault. This is all them niggas' fault, man. They just aired the episode on the BMF show. Them niggas went over there fucking with them goddamn Mexicans and shit. They, they just showed it. Niggas just got to try it, man. Niggas just got to try their pitch, man. I remember that scene on state property and shit uh, when Beanie Siegel and um, Emilio Sparks went overseas to, I think, the Dominican Republic or something to cop. I'm looking at that shit like, man, these niggas is bugging. <laughs> Who wants some goddamn dope that bad, man? Who the fuck wants some work that bad, man? Everybody that try that shit get booked like a motherfucker eventually. Why even go to them extremes to get booked? You want a shot clock anyway. You want a shot clock anyway. Why go to them extremes to get booked? Everybody that tried that shit got roofed. <laughs> hey, yo. Everybody that tried that shit got roofed. Niggas need to stop doing that shit. Chicks need to stop going up to these places for these surgeries. But um, three guys and a girl for a surgery? I don't know about that. In Myrtle Beach, they saying they got fronted perks and owed the Mexicans money. If they owe them money, what they go down there for? Sheesh. I see people get hit right off the cruise boat. Dude being dragged into the van was sad. I read in the comments that Americans being kidnapped in some of these spots is a hustle. They just snatch a motherfucker up, go put you up somewhere. They don't even be trying to do nothing to you. Just sit your ass here for a few hours. This is what I'm reading in the comments, that they be snatching motherfuckers in these spots for ransom. Is this, is this the truth? Do niggas know this? Do niggas know this? Have y'all ever heard about Jamal Kashigi? Have y'all ever heard of Jamal Kashigi? He was a journalist, right? 
went over there fucking around with them Arabs and shit. Y'all remember that? His ass disappeared. When you leave off this, when you leave off American soil, you really on your own. It's up. It's up. It's up. He said, yeah. He said, the kidnap game is crazy in Mexico. Jamal was a journalist. He disappeared without a trace. He said, yeah, kidnapping is easy when you out of bounds. I have a friend who cousin is a coyote. They see it all as far as kidnapping and extortion. He was chopped up in the embassy. See? What happened to Shanquella? It's been 120 days. I don't know. If they said that those people got arrested. I don't know. Good afternoon to everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. Um, all you niggas just calling me. Texting me. I ain't getting on your live at all unless you buy something from my website. You got to go to my website, man, and spend a minimum of 100 bucks for me to entertain your propositions and shit. I got all, I woke up to all types of propositions. I don't know what the fuck happened. Did something happen that I don't know about? Did something happen overnight? What the fuck is going on? Why is everybody trying to attach themselves to the dribble? What's going on? Mac Mean, what up? Did something happen overnight? Y'all got to fill me in, man. What the fuck is going on? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Shanquella has been swept under the rug. As most things that will happen overseas and shit. He said, BMF, they took Craig Pettis like he was family. He was getting them niggas a lot of money. They was protecting him. Mississippi is going back to the dream. I, I spoke about Mississippi on this platform. I told y'all I don't fuck with Mississippi. I don't like Mississippi. I was down there. That shit was dark as a motherfucker. It was like the twilight zone. People that live in Mississippi acknowledge the lack of fucking streetlights and shit. This shit was crazy as a motherfucker. I'm like, how could y'all knowingly live down here in the dark with these people, knowing their history with y'all, knowing the history with race relations with in, in, in Mississippi? How could you be down there in the darkness? What the fuck? Wasn't for me. But the Jim Crow shit coming back, not surprised. They should just burn the whole spot or just get that shit to somebody. Whoever won it, let them have it. Whoever won't Mississippi, they should just let them have it. Y'all want this shit? He said, it's like that in New Orleans. Brett Favre is from Mississippi. He stole a little bit that they have. Everybody just can't up and leave. I know that. I seen the documentary that showed that black people are still living on slave plantations in Mississippi and know that they live on a slave plantation. Know that the motherfucker who land that they live on was, you know, probably 75 years ago, an actual overseer, they slave master and shit that was whooping them with fucking whips and shit. But they didn't move. This shit is crazy as hell. Mississippi is a state, not a city. But I know motherfucking well it ain't a city. I was down there. I seen it. <laughs> I just got back from Miami. I bought some weed at Opalaka last night. I was scared. Some YouTubers have been piggybacking off your channel with Blue Da Vinci. Some of these guys, um, this has become a form of welfare, a social security. Some of these guys, they ain't got nothing going on, man. And they don't have any class or decency, so they ain't got no problem piggybacking my shit in front of everybody and shit. Just extreme low lives.
Earl Jones, why three men going with a woman to get a tummy tuck? Don't make sense. Them niggas is going out there to bust a move. Yale Grounds got slave bones from the trade. I said Gully TV did it first and was blocked immediately. If I see somebody with my shit, I'm flagging you. As much as some of these black leaders complain about the U.S., we are extremely fortunate to live here. No cap. I think I agree with that. The streets are saying they went down to get them knockoff pills. Niggas watch too much TV. Stop taking y'all black asses to other countries. These countries, Mexicans don't like niggas. They just tolerate niggas, man, because niggas can peddle their fucking goods and shit. They don't like niggas. Y'all keep going around these people that don't value your life and shit like that. Please get with Charleston White. Give me one reason why I need to get with Charleston White. Please, anybody. It's 500 people here. Like the video. We ain't even cracked 100 likes. What's going on, man? Y'all terribly, terribly lazy. Why do I need to get with Charleston White? My man said they with Jesus now. They made a bad decision going down there, man. Fuck some perks. Y'all better put that shit in the fucking mail or how it been getting here. We, I ain't coming to get it. Get it? No reason. I ain't think so either. He said, I wouldn't say we are fortunate. I like the U.S. I didn't been to other countries. I didn't been to cleaner countries. I didn't been to countries more technologically advanced than the U.S. I still, I'm, I like the U.S. What YouTubers do you actually respect work-wise? It's a lot of new people on the rise. This nigga's the small that's coming up. I'm going to shout him out. I don't know your name, homeboy, but you did the video about the Hanafi murders. It's a video about the Hanafi murders in Washington, D.C. That's crazy as fuck right now. I don't know this dude's channel, but um, I didn't know that Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is kind of the reason that the... Well, the, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar says some shit. And it offended some people in the Nation of Islam. This is what happened, though. Um, the Nation of Islam had Muhammad Ali, Cassius Clay, Cassius X. His name was Muhammad Ali at the time. They was trying to use Muhammad Ali to recruit Lou Alcindor, who was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And um, Kareem says something like, I'm not, I wouldn't call him Muhammad Ali. I won't call him Muhammad Ali. I'll call him Cassius or Cassius X. I'm not calling him the name of the prophet. He said that. After he said that, he bought a house for this guy who was a former member of the Nation of Islam. This is in a, a generation where the, the Nation of Islam was fragmented. Fragmented. But anyway, them, nigga, them hitters from that fucking mosque in Temple 12 in the North Philly went down to Ron Harvey and them and just flipped that fucking house over. But I didn't know that it, it, it Kareem Abdul-Jabbar didn't just buy that house. He said what he said out of his mouth. When we all go outside of the U.S. is black, that black versus white paradigm goes out the window for real. He said they killed kids too. Yeah, they killed several kids. I believe four. Them dudes is tripping. P 
peace. He said they were looking for Kareem. Nah, they was looking for the, um, oh, the, the, it didn't stop there. They was looking for the leader. I forget his name, the leader of the Hanafis. He wasn't there, but they killed everybody in the house. He was so mad that he ended up taking some hostages and killing some motherfuckers and shit. He ended up getting like 50 years in jail and it started with them attacking him. He said, you should interview Ray Charles out of Dallas. He just got out of the feds. He used to run Dallas big time. He did a lot of time. You should look them up. I don't care about that shit, man. Shit burnt out, man. That shit burnt out. Omi and the Hellcat just got 66 months yesterday. Um, I believe he, yeah, he pled guilty. He essentially was making his own fire sticks or some shit like that. But the next big drug interview, I ain't interested in that shit. Don't, did, didn't you see what just fucking happened to BMF? Didn't you see, don't you know that it was over? It's, it's been shattered now. It's been shattered. The imagery has been publicly shattered and shit. So I that's all we watch. Snowfall, power, BMF, everything crime shit, everything some about niggas who failed as well and shit. So I don't want to keep talking about that shit, period. He said just awful. Awful and remedial, it's like they think we stupid. I'm going to tell you why they think we stupid. That shit that they tried with Southwest T, that's an indication that they think we stupid. They do. That's also an indication of why he was set free. They wouldn't give us Matulu back in good health, walking, vivacious, wearing jewelry. They wouldn't give us Matulu Shakur back like that. They gave us nobody mean, meaningful back like that. Even Geronimo Pratt was old when they gave him back. They give us was bad for us. Everything that they've ever given us was bad for us. They diet, religion, just everything, yo. Just everything. Just everything, for real. If you think about it, Going to school was almost a waste of time. Going to school in the United States is almost a waste of time. Um, I believe that I had real good sense by the fifth grade. <laughs> I thought I was very intelligent. I was, yeah. I could read, write, mathematics. There was no reason for me to be learning about Rome and Crete and all this stupid shit. Like, that's what the curriculum was in the United States and shit. There was no, they gave us that shit because that, that was filler. That was filler. This is what you got to study. This shit ain't going to make me no smarter learning about fucking Crete or Rome. I remember third world nations in these different classes. What is this shit about? Like, <laughs> this shit is dumb as fuck. Like, they could have circumvented all of that shit. Read, write, arithmetic. You got that shorty? Okay. Now you got to go to trade school and become an electrician. You don't need to consume all of that other information, all that stupid shit that they were just talking. You don't. And this is this is being proved by now. They got kids graduating and, you know, they 12 years old and shit like that. The curriculum never was nothing. It was never nothing and shit. Then they get mad because we in the class antsy. I, I used to have a lot of behavior problems in school, when, especially when I was young. Why the fuck is we sitting here all day? <laughs> Why is we sitting here all fucking day doing this shit, reading this shit, man? Like, just this. this <laughs> only reason I'm here is so I can play sports. I'm just, I swear to God. That's the only reason I'm here. I am, for real. Uh, I came to school equipped. School is for programming and conditioning, not, not learning. I agree with that 100%. I agree with that 100% because if you believe in the like the picket fence shit that they program you in a school, go to school, graduate, go to the armed services or some shit like that, or go to college and then that's all bad. 
That's all bad. You come from the military retarded and you come from college in debt. It's all bad. It's all bad. <laughs> Straight up. My man said after sports, I ain't even know what to do. <laughs> He said, four or five hours stay. Trades pay great bread, hazmat, car carpentry, plumbing, et cetera. I graduated psychology and said, fuck it, and became an electrician this year. He said, half of it is behavioral. It's about making a living. They should be heading straight to learn trades. If you think about it, especially if you've been to college like me and you know people, I didn't graduate college, but you know people who graduated college who continued to struggle or they didn't um, just struggle. They ended up pursuing a career that had nothing to do with their accreditation. They had It had nothing to do with their accreditation. Somebody in here just said it. He just said I had a sociology degree and I went back to school to be an electrician. It's an economy. They be stop. They college is an industry. They be selling that shit to people from the, from the time, you know, you a little kid. They selling this shit. This is a business. You gotta go here. Buy this. Buy this unit. Buy into this university. And we gonna equip you to be okay for life. But that ain't that ain't real. That's not real. That's not real. Learn real estate and construction and you can make good money. It was all about a stomach job. I don't believe they went over there to do that. They didn't go over there. They didn't go over there about no fuckers. Three niggas and a girl not gonna go for no cosmetic surgery. Don't you know them white folks know that shit? Them white folks know that shit, man. They in North Carolina plates. You drove there. You didn't fly there. You drove there to this dangerous ass spot, man. The open and shut case. Unfortunate Negroes. The majority of people that go to college never do what they went to school for. You have to keep progressing your skills beyond college. In college now and after the Marines, I don't recommend the military. Wish I'd have went to school earlier. I'd rather start my kids with a business that that cop with that college money. The '90s era messed up my college basketball motivation. I had more money than the coaches. <laughs> I can dig it. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get notifications. She had five kids. That's like $8 from tax money. They all chipped in to buy some work. My daughter graduated for business, but she's teaching elementary school. College is best for network, and I agree with that. Some of the relationships you build there, you would have never had anywhere else. Yeah, you meet a whole lot of gifted people from all over the place in college with a lot of ideas and shit. And what I mean by that is people come to college with good ideas because before they become deprogrammed and shit like that. Before you become deprogrammed, what I mean by deprogrammed is how you get to college and you start being consumed by your major when you start to become consumed by your major, um, I, it's been said that jobs, college, shit like that, ultimately they pay you to put your own dreams on the shelf. He said, definitely good for networking. I went to barber school and drove trucks. Trade is where it's at. He said, before you become programmed, yeah. It's the, you, like, when you on, on campus, you see people that's not programmed. They be out there on, you know, trying to organize student organizations and shit like that. But some people do actually come to pro college and become programmed and shit. Networking is great, but college is good for becoming a professional doctor, CPA, things that will 
a higher barrier to entry. The military is the only choice for some of us who came from toxic homes. I'd rather be in the Department of Defense than the Department of T Corrections. Talk heavy. I used the Army as a legal hustle. It was stay in East Baltimore and risk jail or pimp the system. Travel, train dogs, and now got my mailbox money. Now own my own truck. Salute to you, Joe Mule Trucking. We have to stop this demeaning college. I knew somebody was going to say that. I'm not demeaning college, but we got evidence. We got evidence that you can go further. I remember, my, I'm still friends with Brian Phillips, BP from Sharon, Pennsylvania. We was in the dorms one week. It was like a Thursday or, it was like a Thursday or Friday. It was like a Thursday night, Wednesday or Thursday night. And we was all talking about going somewhere. And, and he was like, I can't go. He was like, I can't go, man. He's like, this is all the money I got to such and such day. You know, I got to buy pizza because, you know, people in college be having to eat and shit like that. I remember when he said that, the feeling that came over me. I said, there's no way in hell I'm going to be here for four years. No way in hell I'm going to be here for four years. I remember it like yesterday. I knew that I was never going to walk across that stage. Four years, I had just came home from prison. I'm like, something's going to happen. Something great is going to happen. I was there trying to play basketball, but something is going to happen where I can circumvent all of this. He said, college is great, but you have to have a plan before you go. Engineering, science, and computer science degrees makes money. You could learn anything on the internet. That's why college is becoming obsolete. That's a great comment. My time at NYU was priceless. I went to Slippery Rock University of Pennsylvania. I had a ball. Shout out to the Black Action Society. I had a college. Was, it was fun. It's fun. Omega B, keep doing your thing. I appreciate your super chat. College is willingly surrender or gamble. I believe that. That's a great comparison. I went to electri electrician school for... Free now, I make triple what I made off that college degree. Now that we all here, I want to say this, because this is why I really brought y'all here, right? This is on my heart last night. Blue Da Vinci been knew about that shit with Meech that's going on right now, he been knew about that shit. He been knew about it. I believe most of them knew about it. But he definitely been knew about it. Blue Da Vinci loved Big Meech. Blue da, Blue da Vinci loved Big Meech. He wasn't going to say nothing about that shit. And it probably never would have came to this point had they not poked the bear. That shit that happened on, uh, the, the things that happened on Vlad TV with J-Bo and shit, that brought us to this point. But had they, had them interviews never happened, he said he held it in for a long time. He was going to hold that shit in forever. This is something that happens regularly. Niggas be knowing that they homeboy told. You don't stop. That don't stop being your homeboy. That don't stop being your homeboy. Niggas talk that, rat this, rat that. Everybody got a homie that told. It was impossible. It was impossible. It was a fucking crack ep epidemic. Everybody got crack charges. Everybody. Some of these niggas was weak to begin with. Everybody to be on the set, everybody to be on the block. It was some pussy ass niggas here too, but they from German Street, so they protected and shit. So, you know, like people start, you, 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 you disregard everything. Like when you building this shit, you know what I'm saying? It'd be niggas amongst us who from the block, from this block, this notorious block, he a bitch ass nigga. You feel me? So when he, when the telling this shit happened, don't be, oh, 
You know that. You, come on, man. You know it with bro. We don't, but that's bro, man. But he not built like they've been telling on us since we was kids. This is niggas be telling on us for years, and you continue to be it. I know niggas that went back and be the bit, continue to be friends with the nigga that told on him. Continue to be friends with the nigga that told on him, and don't nobody understand a relationship. They crimeys, man. Them niggas love each other. One week, the other one know he weak. That's his man. He love him. So that's what happened with the situation with Blue and shit. Uh, I'm not calling Big, Big Meech weak, uh, weak or anything, but he knew what happened. He knew what happened, and he wasn't going to say anything. He had no reason to say anything until they kept poking him. Straight up. He said it's normal now. Man... Niggas don't be ostracized to their homies and shit. You might stop doing business with him. You you might you you might you might stop doing business with him. That might be the extent of it, the extent of it, the extent of it. They knew Blue knew. That's why they tried to throw dirt on his name to dis discredit him, him, hoping nobody would listen. He wasn't going to say anything if, if they didn't keep on fucking with him. That's it. Word up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get the notifications. Go to my website, www.therealdribble.com. They keep telling me I ain't got to put the W's on it. He said, no more conversation or nothing. That's a lie. You watching Big Meech and Big Mickey, B. Mickey and Big Meech on the, the hypothetically speaking, I, this is a dope scene too. The relationship between Big B. Mickey and Big Meech on the show is some shit that you can't understand. That's that homie shit. That's that homie shit. That's that homie shit. He could have been done with him. That's that homie shit. That's his childhood friend, and he started killing because of Meech. He, the first murder on the show. He committed, he, B. Mickey was an enforcer, protecting this nigga, like, continue to deal with him all to the show. He's still on the show. He's still on the show. He's still on the show. Nigga crying, oh, he killed my mom, man. They didn't move my mom, my mom dead. He hurt, and he hurt for his friend. That's why I ain't cut him loose. He said, good point. It's the truth. That's your homeboy. Like, you was homies with this nigga before all this shit happened. The fuck, damn, man. You tell him what the fuck? How you get in this position? He said, facts. I know it. That's why you come to this channel. To get facts. Get facts. Logical thinking. Logical thinking. He said, B. Mickey ain't going nowhere. He probably ain't. He probably ain't. He was busting his gun for the. He was busting his gun for the squad. Fucked around in the pistol. Got caught with the pistol. Damn me! How you get caught with the gun? Man, I fucked up. Man, I fucked up. This is homie. He said, "Young Thug and Woody probably don't do no violence, but definitely not making him feel comfortable when them certain dudes come around." My man said 800 viewers, only 230 likes. Yeah, they uh they lazy. You're going to have to see it on playback, man. They like the video on playback. They never do it when I'm here. They don't want me to know. They don't want me to know. Don't be uh, mentioning them, uh, um, them underprivileged YouTubers in my chat. I might kick you out the chat for that next time you do that, pimp. We I appreciate you. You piggyback Cam Capone for the blue story. No, I didn't. I didn't call blue. Blue called me. I didn't piggyback shit. I just took it to the next level. Cam shit didn't have the same impact as mine. Keep it real. Keep it real. <laughs> hey yo. Cam Capone shit didn't have the same impact as mine, y'all. Did it. It did it. I only did one. Cam Capone got like 10 blue interviews. I just did one. 
my shit. Kaboom! <laughs> oh, shit. He said, what was Mike Epps thinking? Mike Epps is from Indianapolis. He got caught in the Indianapolis airport. I believe he probably he probably was carrying that pistol around in the hood, smoking good weed and forgot about it. I don't give a fuck what go down. I ain't forgetting about no pistol. Fuck that. That's a case. He said only Archon could ask the, who shit was better? Who should who should hit harder? Who should hit harder? Mine or Cam Capone? Go to my website. Get my hoodie. Too black, too strong, too genius. That's what I am. Go get you one. It's that black college shit from the 90s, man. Satin hoodie for the dreads. You know what I mean? And I got my, my girl Puerto Rican, so you know. Come get fresh, man. Fashion bomb couture, man. Get right, man. Got the slouch socks. These for me, though. Y'all know nothing about these slouch socks. The nigga that sold me these, he didn't know nothing about these. Had to get me a couple pair. He said, I didn't pay attention to the Cam Capone. Will you talk to little Meech if he contacts you? Sure. Sure, we capable of conducting ourselves civilized. But um, I believe Blue. I tell him to. I tell him in person, man. I believe what Blue said, man. Not only that, they got paperwork. They got paperwork, and we've come to understand that paperwork has been sometimes altered or misrepresented. I don't think that's the case with this. I don't. I can tell how the way the way it makes me feel when I was reading that shit. He said, "I'm from the DMV, home of the slouch socks." I I told him that. I told him. You look at old pictures of Sean Branch and them niggas in the 80s in D.C. They was rocking them with the Gucci sneaks. They didn't understand Blue on Cam Show, but they understood him over here. There's more clarity over here. More clarity over here, right? I don't... He said, I'm too nervous to read that. I was nervous reading it, too. It's paperwork to back up what Blue said, but Blue name in the paperwork, too. That's not, that's not the intriguing part of the story. It's not. If she book you, you're getting out of here for life. I'm telling you now. Now we see the real reason Meech apologized to Blue. I'm just tuning in. Getting back to the topic. Four Americans was kidnapped on camera in Mexico. Two of them was killed. Very, very unfortunate situation. Black people, stop going. Stop going across the fucking border illegally. Stop going across the fucking border trying to retrieve shit from the black market. Stop going across the border trying to get shit because it's cheaper. There's risks involved that might affect your fucking life. Stop doing it. Stop doing it. For real. When niggas get desperate and go do shit like that, I'm going to keep it real. I'm, let me put this down. This go for everybody. When I see you niggas going through desperate, desperate measures, going to other countries, traveling over here, going OT to hustle, that tell me that you niggas can't hustle for real. It do. It do. It do. It tell me you niggas can't hustle for real. You can't. If out of all the things in the world that you about to do, you about to go to another motherfucking country to try to get some motherfucking drugs and shit. Do you know how much easier shit it is to do in this world than that? Just show me that you niggas can't hustle. Y'all stuck on this shit. Y'all think this shit work. It don't. It don't. It just show that you can't hustle. Like, it don't. I always felt like that. Niggas got to go OT to hustle and shit. Why you ain't, you can't get no money on the set? You ain't getting no money on the set, nigga. 
Ain't nothing. What was what was more what was more uh, glamorous than getting money in the projects? What was more glamorous than that? Niggas that went OT wasn't getting no money in the jacks. You wasn't getting no money on the block. You had to go OT. That's the truth. That's the truth. Niggas are getting OT money on the block. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> hey, yo. I'm glad my body was everything during my 20s and 40s. My cousin from Cali tried to get me to go clubbing in Tijuana, Mexico. I said, hell no. Nah. My man said, if you ain't bringing my work to me, I don't want it. Hell no. Nah. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. Fuck that. He said, nah, I'm sorry, Gully. OT money was crazy. Everybody didn't have to go OT, my nigga. Everybody didn't have to go OT. Y'all went out there pursuing something and shit. Y'all went out there pursuing something. Everybody didn't have to resort to that. They didn't. They didn't. You got to transport this shit. It's a bunch of risks involved with this shit. So you had to, it had to be some type of reward on the other end. Money. Everybody didn't go OT, my nigga. Everybody didn't have to. He said they'd be scared. I'll be here when y'all get back. Do you think they got kidnapped by a cartel? They said it was two opposing cartels having an issue and they kind of like rolled up in the middle of it. Pee Wee, I appreciate you. Y'all like the channel. Good afternoon, everybody. Appreciate y'all for coming through. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with the dribble. Go to the website. Get right. The original PA knit. Uh, get right. I got my own CMOS gummies. Shout out to everybody who's been buying the gummies and shit. They're hit. So loudly. Mistaken identity. They thought they was the ops www.therealdribble.com They didn't learn anything from Malcolm X's grandson, Malcolm Shabazz. Yeah, he got killed in Mexico. A lot of niggas didn't been killed over there. It's underreported. One of my co-workers said he was traveling to Mexico and had to ride with windows down because he had tinted windows in the middle of the summertime. I believe that. I believe that. I believe that to be the truth. Very volatile place. It's well known that they're in control of the drug. Uh, the drug trade right now is being controlled by the Mexican mafia. This is well known. I sub to the channel. Somebody told me I gave you like 20 points in the gym up top. I've never been up top. I've never been up top, pimp. You lying. To come here and say some shit like that is a blatant lie. I didn't do nothing but torture niggas on a basketball court. The whole time I was in jail, I never nobody was giving me no work. It was other niggas there that was tough, but they wasn't doing it to me. My man said what we sold for 20 in Jersey. I don't know the mathematics, man. I just know that we ain't have to go OT pimp. Mexican mafia connected to the Mexican cartel. They was over there on something different. Law breaking. You campaign and you get elected. It was reported that they thought they were Haitian. Man, when they run up with them pistols, you better get to identifying yourself. Them people don't like niggas anyway. They ain't gonna have no sympathy when they run up. If they run up with their hammer on you, they probably gonna shoot you. It's not like that they... Probably gonna shoot you. Gully, do you dislike Africans? Why would you say some stupid shit like that? I don't dislike anybody. I dislike who dislike me. I do. I dislike people stealing my content. I don't like that. I 
I got like 22 pair of basketball shorts on my website, Dribble God joints. I got sweatsuits, all of that, all of the above, man. All the all of the shit that'll keep me from um, having to resort to going to fucking Mexico trying to buy something. You said that joint looked like they didn't have a chance. Uh, the latest uh, report was that uh, two of them was killed and one was found injured. It's fucked up. Stay here. Stay here. Fuck you go down there for. I'm from the Caribbean. We got no business going to Mexico. Come to your own people. You can't drive to the Caribbean, though. My man said... Lame stayed home and they were broke till now. I don't know what that meant. Rolling up in a war zone thinking you're going to put money in the opposition hands is crazy. The cartel all in the hood now. You don't have to go to Mexico. They was trying to do too much. Blue Da Vinci was on point what I was saying in the back of my mind the whole time. I think Blue won that battle. I think Blue's been, I think he expertly vindicated himself. The truth, the truth is powerful. The truth is powerful, powerful. But don't be surprised at a nigga that got, you know, 30 years, probably, probably ain't no telling what, what the fuck he was facing. Did what he did. I went to Slippery Rock in 01. Are you looking for new artists on the project? Nope. Everybody that was on my album, I interviewed them before. That was the angle on that and shit. All them people been on Gully TV before. That was like a all, the Pillmatic All-Stars and shit. That was all guys I worked with. I ain't, um, I ain't, look, I ain't looking. I can't afford to put nobody on for free. I can't. Like, a nigga that's fucking with me, I'm going to give you um, my best, and you're going to see results. So you got to pay me and shit. I, ain't, I can't accept no piggybacks and shit. A nigga that I did, uh, a graphic designer that I was working with, right? One of the last conversations that he said to me when I stopped speaking to this clown was that it would take him two weeks to do a logo that I need. I needed to... The, Go the Gully TV logo that you're seeing now on the new videos and shit. He said he was going to take him two weeks. I just stopped speaking to him. I just left him on scene because I knew he wasn't a professional and shit. Somewhere along the line, this nigga didn't watch some Gully TV interviews and decided that he's going to... I, I believe he probably didn't know who I was at first. But the moment he found out who I was, this nigga's in my fucking... Uh, DM talking all this crazy shit, man. Let's do this. I know how to do this. I could, what do he say? I could edit and shoot the videos for the guys you interview. I've been doing that shit for like 17 years. I've been editing the music videos, Zip With The Drip, the John Moran joint. I edited that. You, it, it ain't nothing you could fucking possibly do to help me at this point, my nigga. And I'm not carrying nobody. Not unless you pay me. Period. A lot of people told on somebody just not on the paperwork. I already interviewed Zip with the drip. I just said everybody on the album. I interviewed him before. Shout out to Zip. Zip's uh, song, Game Time, is in an upcoming film. That I make my acting debut in with Luke Steffen. Uh, it's called Cream Team, the movie. I'm going to keep y'all. I might, when we shooting, we shooting this month too. I might take the camera to the set and let y'all see me. Um, see my acting chops. Got some shit up my sleeve. Y'all going to see soon though. Soon enough. Anyway, I got to get on to the gym, man. Y'all have a great afternoon. 
Stay y'all ass away from these fucking, uh, these black market, these, these places that people going for illegal surgeries. That's what they said. And illegal bricks. Stay your ass away from that. Perks, fentanyl, all of that. Stay your ass in America where you have some form of rights at. Peace.